keep it going, everybody, for Mike, what he does for everybody here. It's good. Thank you so much. I am new to Las Vegas. Thanks, everyone, for that appreciative applause. I am from Salt Lake City, Utah, for all you guys. Yes, I fit the description, and no, I'm not a Mormon. Thank you for asking. And I do get a lot of people that ask me, though, they you know, come up and say, you're a Mormon, what ward do you belong in? I'm like, look at me, psychiatric, dude, come on. If I keep eating, it's going to be maternity before you know it. It's kind of cool. Oh, yeah, oh, it happens, man. You start getting in your 40s, you start getting that pouch. You know, it sucks. Everything hurts, especially your ego when your wife tells you, hey, fatty, get off me. <laughs> yes, I've been married for 23 years, too, Woo! so Woo! thanks for the applause. And there was only a couple of you, because everybody was like, we're in Sin City. Nobody gets married here. We're all here for the one-night stands. That's good. Being married that long is kind of fun, because you find out with a lot of other friends. They talk to you, and they tell you, I've been married to my trophy wife. Do you guys ever hear someone tell you that? You ever looked at one of your friends and go, holy hell, what place did you take, dude? <laughs> Seriously. My brother used to claim he had a trophy wife, but she actually looked more like a participation award. She actually looked like she participated in sumo quite regularly. It's kind of weird, because they used to live with them, too, and it was disgusting, because every time they had sex, it sounded like they were moving furniture in the other room. That's yeah, crazy, huh? You know what's weird is she wore a lot of makeup, too, almost like a clown. So each morning when she would wake up, it looked like Picasso had spent the night and painted a beautiful pillowcase picture. Yeah, it looks kind of like that stuff they sell on Fremont Street, you know? It's kind of that weird get, weird get coming down on Fremont Street. It's like Walmart with steroids, you know what I mean? I've never been to a place where you can walk by and you get the aroma of weed, followed by piss, urine, and puke in the same breath. You're just like, oh, God, you don't know if you want that contact high or the fear that you're going to actually have fecal matter in your mouth when you're done. It's crazy. I love Vegas, and evidently she does, too. Panhandlers in Vegas are nuts. You guys think that? These guys walk down the center line in the, in the traffic aisles like they're Pac-Man eating those little white dots. I mean, it's nuts because they always carry that sign, too, and they make eye contact with you and do this. I looked out the window one day and I said, hey, dude, I tried that with my wife, and she won't touch me down there either. I ain't giving you a tip either. It's kind of cool. I like the fact that being married, a lot of people don't understand. When when you're younger, you know, you go to you go to hotels and you get like you get two beds, so you can make a mess in one and sleep in the other. After you've been married twenty something years, you get two beds because you want to sleep apart. That's true. Come on, you can believe it. It's kind of fun. Uh, you know, it, it's the craziest part is when you're dating someone and you get mad when you come home and you find out, oh man, she's on the rack, this sucks, I'm never going to have a good time tonight. After you've been married a while, you kind of look forward to that. You come home and check the garbage can, shit, yes, I can actually nap tonight. It's going to be awesome. Now that my wife's older, I'm going to have to worry about this stuff. I actually have a teenage daughter, so I have to worry about that. So now when I come home, I check the garbage can. If I find tampon wrappers in the garbage, I'm jumping for joy because I know I'm not a grandfather yet. <laughs> That's outstanding. I like what college kids are doing with tampons now. You guys believe that? The yeah. girls used to take them and soak them in vodka and insert them in the good areas. So that way they could get drunk without having to, I don't drink alcohol. Really, you just ingested it somewhere else like you did half the football team. <laughs> but to be one up, guys get pissed off now and they want to be as cool as the women. So guys will soak the vodka or the tampons in vodka and they'll shove them up their ass. And it is kind of cool because if you do get pulled over, like at a DUI checkpoint, you can actually pass a breathalyzer test, <laughs> as long as you don't fart. <laughs> yeah, but speaking of that, in Utah we don't get as much sun as we get down here, so it's kind of weird. I used to have to go to tanning booths quite regularly. And it's funny because the first time I ever sat on one of my balls was in a tanning booth. And now it happens all the time. My buyer can be aware of that shit all the time. But I also found out if you actually eat Taco Bell before you hit a tanning booth, that fan will blow it right back in your face every time. Everybody that's been to a tanning booth, like, yeah, I can attest to that. So, it's kind of cool. I have a, I have a, I have a, my wife's real honest when it comes to marriage and everything like that. I've always wanted a threesome, which everybody does. I found out my wife will never let me have one. So the coolest part is she has a very, very beautiful gynecologist. If you guys are aware of insurance companies, they give you one year for the womanly exam. I schedule a vacation day for that. 
If there's any time I can actually watch some hot woman root around at my wife looking for good stuff, I'm actually going to stand there and watch too. I actually peer over their shoulder like an 80s cartoon character going, oh, damn. I'm like, no, no, it's more to the left than up. Doctor actually stopped me and goes, no, actually, that's not where it is. Trust me, I'm a doctor. I'm like, no shit, teach me. I want to know too. I mean, she does, she wants to know. At first, people always tell you like, you know, what came first, the chicken or the egg? <laughs> Answer is my wife because I'm a good husband. How about that? <laughs> See? Some of the women are like, yes. Last guy's like, you know what orgasms are similar to? I don't care. You have one. Who cares? I do. I, I like a happy home. Happy wife, happy life. They always tell you you're going to marry someone just like your mom. You guys heard that before? I was actually really shocked when I found out my mom was such a freak. <laughs> yeah. My mom's heard that joke, and she approved of it, too. It's okay. <laughs> you realize, like, all adult toys now are dishwasher safe? Do you guys realize that? They are. Read the box. I do. I got plenty of time on my hands. It's kind of funny, because you ever remember back when your mom used to always tell you to make sure that you always rinse your pipe before you put it in the dishwasher? It's because she did not want to wake up with a spaghetti noodle wrapped around it. Yeah. Could you imagine that French tickler mom didn't know was there? Yes. And your mom and dad did it too. Stop it. Without them, you wouldn't be here tonight. So give it up for your parents doing it. See? Some people like it. I don't want to think about it, but they had to. It's okay. You guys, uh, I think I'm going to wrap it up on one last thing. I'm going to get out of here because i got to go home and rip my wife's panties off because they're constricting my balls right now. Have a great night, everyone. <laughs>